Welcome back to Algo Trading using Pine Script from Market Secrets. This is episode 5 of the series, and if you haven't looked at the previous 4 episodes, please do watch those episodes and then come back to this video. So, at the start of the series, I mentioned there are two types of Pine Scripts one is study, and the other one is a strategy. Study is a simple indicators where strategies are real core which can be used for algo trading. Whatever we have seen in the last four episodes are studies and they are the basics as well. Now let's see how to code a simple strategy in this episode. To create a strategy, we have to swap out the study declaration with the strategy declaration. So I'm going to change this study into strategy and now we are in episode 5 so I'm just renaming it. So the first thing we will want to do is to create two simple moving averages and assign the data to variables. So as part of this strategy we are going to do a simple moving average crossover algorithm. So for that we will need two simple moving averages. So we'll be using the code that we developed in the previous episode itself. So I'm removing this unnecessary code that we have here and I'll use the simple code that we have created to plot simple moving average of bank nifty for 10 and 30 time periods. So we will use this exact same script as the base for our strategy. So this is now a study, but now we are turning this slowly into a strategy. That's what we are going to do in this episode. But we are not just going to use these two uh, simple moving averages alone. We will need on another signal for confirmation. So for this, we will also create one another indicator here, which is an RSI indicator. So I'm going to create an RSI data or RSI indicator here. So I'm going to use the built-in RSI function to calculate value. So I'm going to use the closing price as the base and I'm going to use the time period as 14. So this will give me 14 period RSI in the RSI variable. So that's what this particular line of script will do. We will be using this as a confirmation signal for our entries. So since all the data that we need for this particular strategy is within this particular script itself, we are not using the security function. But if you need data from some other security, for example, right, if you want uh, some data from Nifty to take it as a confirmation for bank Nifty trades, in that case, you need to use the security function. Since we don't need it here, we are not using it. So now you need to specify the crossover conditions because this is a crossover strategy. So you need to write the script for crossover conditions. Fortunately, trading view has built in function for that already. So we don't need to do it manually. So let's use the built in function for crossover and let's try to build the code for crossover. So I'm going to first take the long condition. So creating a long condition variable and I'm going to use the crossover function built in crossover function and I'm going to pass both short SMA and long SMA as the arguments. So just rename it. Now this is for the long side. So if short moving average crosses above long moving average, then we'll be going long. Likewise, we need to write another condition for the shorting. So short condition. So instead of cross over, we need to use cross under. So that's another built-in function they have. So if the simple moving average, that is short simple moving average crosses under the long simple moving average, then the short condition will be satisfied. So we now have a long condition and short condition. 
So the first condition is the short term SMA that is 10 period moving average crosses above the 30 period moving average. And the second condition is the opposite. We have used the cross under function. So this condition will be true if the short SMA crosses under the long SMA, which is 30 period moving average. Both these conditions are now saved to a variable. So when the crossover or cross under happens, these variables will get updated to true, which is a Boolean value. Now we can use an if statement to check if these conditions are changed to true. And if that happens, then we can execute a trade based on that. So let's create an if condition. So I'm going to see whether this particular long condition variable has the value true. And if it does, then I'm going to create an entry. So you have to use strategy dot entry to take entry in a trade so i'm going to enter into a trade if this condition is satisfied so for that you need to pass few parameters first is the trade id so i'm giving some random name so this will be the unique id for this particular trade and followed by that you need to mention whether it's a long trade or a short trade, whether you are going long or you are going short. And then you need to mention number of shares that you want to trade. In this case, I'm going to trade 100 shares. So I'm passing the value as 100. And lastly, you need to add any other conditions that you need to verify. So I'm going to have one more condition using the RSI parameter that you have created. So if RSI is 50, only then this particular trade will be executed. So what we have done is we have used the built-in strategy.entry function to enter into the trades. And for this, we need to pass four parameters. First one, long trade n. This is your trade ID. We won't be using it in this example, but if you plan to close or cancel this trade in the future, then it needs to be done with this particular unique ID. So you should always pass a unique ID for any of your entries. And followed by that, you have strategy.long. This is the built-in variable that tells the Pine script that we want to go long. We can either go long or we can go short, right? So in this case, we are going long. So I'm going to pass this as strategy.long. And third, I'm passing the value 100. This is the number of shares that I want to trade. And lastly, when is equal to RSA greater than 50. So this is an additional parameter that tells the Pine script to execute the trade only if the RSA is higher than 50. Likewise, you can create an entry for the short side as well. So I'm just copying this code and I'm pasting it here and I'm giving short condition here. So I'm just changing this to short trade and and strategy dot long instead of that we are going to give strategy dot short and if RSI is less than 50 so we've done so this will set up our short condition as well since this is a strategy we don't have to plot too many uh, information on the chart but if you want to change something for example right if you just want to change the color of one of the SMA for you know easier look then you can do that if you want to plus plot RSI also, you can do that. So, but, um, you know, you can avoid, uh, you know, uh, putting too much information in the chart. Now, if I click add to chart, these moving averages will be plotted here and uh, the long moving average will be plotted in black. In addition, we'll get to see all the different trade signals that got generated. Likewise, if you move to the strategy tester, you'll be able to see the performance of the strategy. So you will see, you know, what is your net profit, gross profit, gross loss, max drawdown and number of trades that have taken. And if you want to look at the list of trades, then you can look it over here. So, so this strategy will be executed on the time frame in which, uh, you know, we have the chart open. So if you, you know, navigate to a different time frame and run the strategy, then you will see the different set of results and different set of trades. So you can easily cycle through different time frames using the time frame option menu at the top of the screen. This brings us to the end of today's episode. If you have any queries, comments or feedback about this episode or this series in particular, please drop it down in the comment section. We'll be happy to answer and address them. If you have liked this video, hit the like button and share it with your friends if you find it useful. This is very, very important and that's the most important motivator for us. 
so please do like and share our videos if you find it useful also subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session thanks for watching have a great day goodbye